I'll hear a reply from DJ Academics regarding the Juicy Santana stuff. I personally want to see the fight. I personally do want to see the fight. And I personally have said before that I think this is a natural... Look at the, all the alarm. Look at the fucking all the police sirens around here, man. I live in the fucking trap. So, um, I think this is a natural consequence of academics just being way too loud and being way too fucking messy and being way too in the drama. Eventually, as a man, you're always going to get to a position where a guy is just wanna wanna. A guy is just gonna wanna fight you. You know, that's the thing. A guy is just gonna wanna fight you at the end of the day if you just talk too much smack. There's only so much, um back and forth you can have with a male before they just say you know what enough is enough in this particular case it's hard to really read because juicy santana doesn't have or oh, sorry saucy santana sorry doesn't have any issue with ak really he's kind of stepping in here because of his friend carisha and that back and forth that academics is having there but i'm just loving the fucking arguments between them because academics is in a place now where he can't win if he fights a gay guy, he looks like a fucking crazy. If he fights a gay guy and loses, he looks even more crazy. If he ducks the smoke, he looks crazy. So the only thing he can do is just sit online and just like, you know, throw insults back and forth. So um, this is the latest stuff that, um, this is the latest uh, back and forth that he's had with her. Let's actually play, let's play this one actually. Let's do this one. Let's see what academics is saying because I think the replies have been pretty crazy. But I would actually like to see the fight and my money is on, Santana winning. I think Santana will definitely wipe the floor with academics because I don't think academics can fight, number one. And also, I just think people underestimate how good of a fighter as um, gay people are, especially gay guys from the hood, because they've had to really, really, really fight for their lives um, from day one. So I've got a feeling this guy who's streaming all the time probably can't be able to fight in the first place. Let's see. All right, baby. All right, we about to play. Y'all want to hear this thing? All right, go, go, go. <laughs> Yeah, I know. He probably trying to go crazy. Here we go. <laughs> Nigga, no TOS is on it, right? Make sure of that first. It, 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 it's a TOS. It's, he probably... He, yo, the thing about, like, gay niggas, they always feel it. Oh, no, no. Oh, they bleeping. They bleeping. I think we good. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. We dealing with right now. Put up to your headquarters. 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 It's in the streets. I want to meet in the road. Yo, headquarters. What the fuck is somebody meeting you at your headquarters for? That's the problem. See, I think I'm starting to think that maybe this is your aesthetic. You do the fake and <laughs> and then you and you sit in a room full of <laughs> cameras and try to make a bitch crash out. You know, that's like we from the hood. Oh yeah, that's how you trying to be. <laughs> Yo, <this is April. laughs> yeah. I don't like this. I don't like this. Ac academics can't do this whole laughing. This is funny. Tr it's not. You have to meet the smoke now. This is the thing. He's ducked out. He's ducked so many fights. The Rory and Moore stuff. Um, the Freddie Gibbs. Blue face. He's ducked a lot of fades. At this point, it's getting a little bit like he's scared to actually fight. And I think I've said before that I think one of the major issues Ak is having, and I think I had it before myself, because I remember there was a time when I was growing up when I was like, I don't know, what, what age was I? I was fucking might have been like 13, 15 or something, right? And I lost my first fight embarrassingly. I lost this fight in school to the point where I ran away. Like I was getting beaten up that badly. I ran away from the fight. And I remember it being such a big deal in my school that I was getting teased for running away, da 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 da, da. And it was a thing that used to be affecting me a lot when I was young. And then what happened is that I remember thinking to myself, the only way I'm going to be able to re um, re the only way I'm going to be able to restore my reputation is if I just crash out on somebody. So randomly, one time before I left school, <laughs> so imagine I get fucked up in the fight, I lose, I run. Then a year later, because I'm still feeling the embarrassment and the shame of running away, I then just randomly start a fight with some random person in school. Right, just some random kid over some random argument. I just end up going crazy on him, right? I'm like without any reason, and I'm in the wrong. I beat this guy up, right? But I have to be honest, it did a lot for my personal confidence. It made me feel like a man again, even though it's really toxic and bad. I swear to God, I'm really ashamed. I'm really ashamed of it. It really did help to kind of restore my manhood and allow me to be a lot more kind of, what do you say? Fearless, right? And to not be afraid to get into confrontation and altercations and shit. And it kind of did help me with when I get older. 
So I can identify a lot in academics getting kind of mugged off and getting embarrassed, like the Migos thing with Joe Budden. Remember when he was like, Joe Budden and, and the Migos were like, um, what was it? Joe Budden and, and the Migos going to altercation and, uh, you know, uh, academics is fiddling with his mic and looking all nervous. Then obviously the Vic Mensa thing, where Vic Mensa said he wants to slap him because of the war in Chirac shit. Like he's had instances online where he's been fucking marked out, as they say in LA, right? He's been He's been made to look like a pussy. And I think those type of things for a man can be hard to shake. So the only way to shake them sometimes is to just fight somebody. It doesn't matter who it is. As long as it's not a woman, obviously don't fight a woman, but you have to fight somebody just to get out of your system. And I think academics has had that issue, especially with rappers. They don't respect him anyway. They think he's a chatty patty. He's fat. He's ugly. Uh, he, looks like a bit of a, he looks like a bit of a dork. So they're always going to look at him a certain way. So the way to really assert dominance, I think most guys would know this, right? Especially when you're a guy in school. Sometimes the only way to kind of make people respect you sometimes is to be really good at sports, to be really funny, or to be able to know how to fight. Usually the only things when you're a guy that other guys respect you for. You have to really lay it down. Even dorks, even geeks in school sometimes, they have to remind people, hey, you can't, you can't bully me. And you have to be able to fight. Even if you lose, the fact that you can be able to fight and defend yourself, people will have more respect for you. So I think academics really really needs to just fight somebody it doesn't matter if it's saucy santana little baby it doesn't matter who the fuck it is he has to get one fight under his belt just to remind people that he is a man he stands on his shit he'll defend himself he's not gonna be he's not gonna be bullied he's not gonna be sunned blah 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 but he can't engage in this back and forth all the time because it makes you look like you're a bit scared you know that's what it makes you look like Yo, AJ, you was rolling with this thing in the hood, bro? Keep it a bean. This is the nigga who you was rolling with in the hood? Yo, facts. You here, nigga? Come on, man. Who was rolling with a nigga like this in the hood? What I need somebody this, to man. answer me right Come now. Come on, Ak. What is all this academics? Come on, bro. What is all this? What's going on? What's going on with you? Link the guy up and fight him, man. Come nah, on, this man. is crazy. Hold up. Make a bitch crash out. You know, that's like, we're from the hood. Oh, yeah, that's how you tell the bitch. Uh huh, come in my house. Come in my house. Because I can do whatever I want to. I went out, you don't have to. Me and you can meet. We, we, we want to meet you outside. I want to meet you outside. I don't want to pull up to number headquarters, bitch. All right. Let me, let, let me get an answer right now. Brown do celebrity boxing. Yo. <laughs> I don't do celebrity boxing. Someone sounds like they're scared. I don't do why don't you do celebrity boxing? That should be pretty good. If academics got into some decent shape and started to hit mitts and started to do celebrity boxing and actually, you know, went a few rounds with somebody, people would actually respect him a lot. I don't do celebrity boxing. What do you do then? What do you do? Come on, academics, man. Come on. Bati man. <laughs> I shouldn't even say no shit like that. And uh, all my Jamaican people and the people who I come from, my culture, I love y'all to death. Batty boy. Let's just put gloves on there. Fuck it. Let's put gloves on there. Oh, he's on it. He's on it. He's on it. Okay, okay. He's on it. Let's see. Let's, Let's put go. Gloves on. Me and you. Let's go. Let's crack it. Oh, my God. It's going to be so fucking embarrassing. Honestly, you guys have no idea. Well, most of you would know. If you're from the hood, you would know. Gay guys are not guys to be played with, especially from the hood. Like they can fight. Like, I, I, I never, I've never understood this idea behind because you like men that you can't fight. It's a really odd sort of thinking. It's super prehistoric. It's super caveman thinking to think because a guy likes other guys that they can't fight. It's so odd because if anything, if you know anything about gay relationships, usually the instances of fucking domestic abuse are super high in gay relationship because it's two fucking dudes isn't it how else are you gonna argue you're not gonna keep shouting at each other you're gonna get busy in the fucking living room you're gonna get busy in the bedroom you're gonna get busy everywhere and especially if you grow up in a hood in a place where naturally or not naturally but normally a lot of people in that area are homophobic you're gonna have to fucking defend yourself so this idea that somehow because a guy puts on contact lenses or has their eyebrows done a certain way wears nails and has lip lipstick on that somehow they can't fight is so bizarre to me especially someone like academics if it's like an, an, another regular run-the-mill hood guy that's different but with a guy like academics who clearly is somebody who's not outside as they say 
and somebody that likes to get involved in verbal altercations and doesn't really like to, you know, scrap, I would be worried if I was academic. I'd be actually scared. Plus, Saucy Santana is a big, big, big dude. If I'm not mistaken, at least probably about 5'11", if not six foot, without heels. That's a big, big, big person. So you're going to have to be really about your wits to kind of get that going because, hey, it's not going to be easy. <laughs> it's not going to be easy. It's cracking, nigga. Nigga, I just told you how to come to my headquarters. Because anybody come to my headquarters, you getting done fucking dirty, nigga. I got all type of shit. You getting done dirty. Yeah, you shouldn't even want to come there. But fuck it. You's a bot. That's a bit weird, isn't it? You're going to come to headquarters, you're going to get done, done dirty. What do you mean by that? You're going to get done dirty. What do you mean by that? You're going to get done dirty. Huh? <laughs> well, what? You can't deal with me. We can put gloves on. Come on. I'm not coming to your party. You can put, we can both put gloves on. Let's crack it. I'm down for it. I've been on, on that shit. Let's get it. I've been on that shit. Let's get it. I've been on that shit. Ain't no lose-lose situation, man. I'm not, You're the only waiver you got to sign, bro. Imagine. Me being your ass ain't no hate crime, nigga. I know you. Imagine if they put gloves on in the parking lot somewhere and you see a video of academics getting spun or Saucy Santana on top of academics punching him in the face. <laughs> you a body, my nigga. I ain't on that shit. I ain't <laughs> hate no gay niggas. Nothing like that, nigga. I'm just on some shit like yo, bro. I'll reel my shit. Like, let's get it. We can get in the boxing ring. Facts. Why is he talking like that? I'm signing a waiver. You sign a waiver. Let's Why get it cracking. Why is he talking like that? Why is he talking like that? I'm down with it for you. We can do it for free. We can do it for nothing. Why is he talking like that? No nothing. You want to have cameras? I can have Why is he talking like that? Bro? Why is he all hunched in like that? <laughs> Academics the bad boy. Am I, you have your cameras. Itch. I have my cameras. You see what's happening. That's how I'm on it. That's how I'm on it. They got bit on that type of shit. So if you want to do that, you go get your shit. We both sign waivers. I don't need no money to beat no body man up because it ain't no nobody gonna put me on a flyer like oh, academics fighting the body man. No way. But me <laughs> and you on some sparring shit, nigga. I'm gonna show you what the fuck. Why the fuck, nigga? Nigga, I'm a big Jamaican, nigga, bro. Oh, academics, man. All this batty boy talk. Is gonna look really embarrassing when this guy pumps, tumps you, pumps you, tumps you and shit. Imagine if Saucy Santana fucks up Ak and does what um Israel Adesanya did to fucking Paulo Costa and get and pretends to like doggy him <laughs> as he's on the floor, gets on top of him and starts air pumping him. Imagine if Saucy Santana did what Izzy did to fucking Paulo Costa at the end. Oh my god. Oxtails bleeding through my body, nigga. Let's get it. You's a body, man. You suck dick and sit on dick, nigga. Let's get it. What a weird ins... Again, how are you going to insult a gay guy for doing gay things when he's an unapologetic gay... I don't... Oh, you suck dick. Okay. <laughs> it's like, what are these insults? That's how you know he's scared. <laughs> That's how you know he's scared. He's just saying anything. What is this? You're insulting a gay guy for doing gay guy things. It's like, <laughs> I don't know. I do that. We could do that in a sparring session. I'm not fighting you on some shit like, you think me, bro, you got to deal with yourself in the mirror, gang. I ain't going to ever deal with you where you got to look at yourself and realize what? you's a body, man. I don't got to deal with that. So if that's what you want, yeah, you don't got to come to my headquarters. Me and you, we can squabble up. We can squabble up and have JT and, 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 and what's the other bitch name? Carisha on, this, uh, on a corner. And when I'm, when I'm violating you, they're going to be like, oh, shit. This bitch ass nigga should have been taking testosterone blockers because I ain't never take none of those. I'm a grown ass man, nigga. I've been down to squabble with a lot of niggas. Boxy boy, I'm definitely getting in with. Pause. What? No, no, no. You can't say pause after saying that. That's that's unpausable. What do you say? I take none of those. I'm a grown ass man, nigga. I've been down to squabble with a lot of niggas, and a body boy, I'm definitely getting in with. Uh, no, you can't pause that. A body boy, I'm gonna get in there with. Now I'm not really sure what's going on here. Is academics flirting with Saucy Santana? Is he trying to threaten him? What's going on here? 
Like, is Axe com- is that confused? Is he turned on? Is he scared? What's going on? Here? <laughs> what the fuck? Do you want to fight the guy? Do you want to date him? Like, what's going on? Come on, make your mind up, academics. He's confused, isn't it? He saw. <laughs> Pause. Okay. So you like you might have to call Ray J too. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Yo, let me tell you this, man. Yo, Adam was made for Eve, not for Steve. <laughs> Yo, AJ, you are here. Nah, this. Oh, lame corny anyway um that's the most i'm gonna watch it for it um i think academics are scared i also think it's a very lose situation for him i don't see any scenario where he wins that fight that's just my honest opinion if he does he proves everybody wrong fair enough but still no one's gonna give him any points because again you know being up a gay guy is what it is but i think he is definitely gonna be in a lose situation i think he loses that i think the footage of that will be everlasting um, he would never be able to live that shit down. And if he does lose that fight, you have to do what I did and just pick on some random guy in the street and just fight them to get his fucking honor back. Or just pull out the blicky and air out the entire arena when he goes to the BET Wars or the Grammys or something. That's the only way he can re- rectify his reputation. If he does get end up getting slumped with his face in the ground by Saucy Santana, the only thing he can do is at the next BET Awards, at the next you know, what you call it, um, Summer Jam with Hot 97, he pulls out a blicky and just airs the entire thing out, right? Shoots innocent bystanders, whatever, does something, ends up in that orange jacket, and then maybe people look at him like, oh my God, he's fucking crazy. But if you get slumped out by this guy, you will never, ever, ever live it down. So be careful, academics. Be very, very careful because this is not going to be an easy fight. Um, You know, I don't think, for instance, for example, I think Saucy Santana's probably had a fight in the last 18 months. I would assume so. I think this person has definitely thrown hands with somebody in a club somewhere in the last 18 months. I don't think Academics has punched a human in anger in his life. That's my opinion. I don't think he's punched a human in anger in his life. And I think Saucy Santana's had a fight in the last 18 months. If that's the case, he's losing. Instantly, he's losing instantly he's losing the first time he gets hit with a jab he's gonna be like what jeremy he's losing he's he's done he's losing so be very careful be very very careful my friend be very careful anyways moving on from that 